Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. Earning credits in Star Wars The Old Republic isn't as difficult as it might seem. In this video, we'll be going over how to earn credits efficiently at level 80. Actually, in this updated video, I'm going to show you how to make 100 million credits in just 2 hours with the right tactics. Inflation on the player run market, the GTN right now, is insane, but that doesn't mean you can't leverage it by earning valuable items in game and selling them to those players who have way too many credits. Just as a heads up, if you're still at a low level, earning credits is so, so, so much easier once you've reached max level, which is currently level 80. So this video is only going to cover that. There's not much points in trying to earn credits before that time. So in the current economy, earning credits is incredibly easy if you know what to look for. So here's the general idea. Step one, earn tech fragments, a type of currency, through any method that you'd like. Step two, exchange them for rare crafting materials. And step three, sell the rare crafting materials to other players on the GTN. And step four is, you know, go spend your 100 million credits on whatever the heck you want. So now let's go over the ways to earn credits. Number zero, getting them tech fragments. You can spend 4,000 tech fragments, which are a type of currency. You can see them in the currency tab of your inventory, and you can only earn these at a high level, really. You can spend them on a rare material called an OEM or RPM used to craft augments. While the price of these will vary over time, they're worth millions on the GTN as they are used to craft the best augments in the game. You can buy these rare crafting materials from the Spoils of War vendor in the supply section of the fleet. There's no level requirement. As long as you have the 4,000 tech fragments, you can purchase these rare materials. So at the time of me recording this, the OEMs on my server are going for 100 million credits on the GTN, and the RPMs are going for about 90 million credits on the GTN. So you just need to get those 4,000 tech frags, figure out which one is selling for more on your server right now, buy it, and sell it on the GTN. This vendor um, also has another perk. You can also exchange leftover conquest commendations for tech fragments here too. So in general, how do you get tech fragments? So you've got conquest, daily heroic missions, flashpoints through the group finder, specifically the group finder quests, operations, galactic starfighter, and PVP weeklies. One important thing to keep in mind though, is that tech fragments are also used to purchase your tactical items, and legendary implants for gearing up at level 80. You may want to gear up first before you use your tech fragments to earn credits, or you could ignore gearing altogether. It's really up to you. So now that we've got a general list, let's talk about the most specific and efficient ways to earn credits in Star Wars The Old Republic. Number one, conquest. Conquest is an extremely easy way to earn credits and valuable crafting materials just by playing the game. Every week, you'll have a personal conquest point goal to meet, and you can get conquest points by doing the objectives listed in the conquest panel, which is a tab at the top of the normal missions tab. Conquests reset weekly, so you have a limited time to meet your personal goal and earn the rewards each week starting on Tuesdays. The goal is to earn tech fragments through conquesting to buy those rare OEM and RPM materials that we just talked about. If you're playing outside of a guild, you can get 500 tech fragments just for completing your personal conquest goal of 100,000 points on your character, and you can complete conquest solo on as many of your characters as you want. You'll also get 200 conquest commendations, which you can also exchange for even more tech fragments. If you conquest with a guild and your guild reaches their conquest goal, you'll get an additional 300 to 500 tech fragments for every character you reach your personal conquest goal on with your guild. In addition, if you're conquesting with a guild, you'll also get a flagship encryption, which is an item for each character who completes conquest, which will sell for 6 million plus credits on the GTN depending on your server. This means if you're in a guild going after a high yield conquest planets, you can earn 100 million credits in a week easily, simply by completing conquests on four characters and exchanging the currencies you earn for rare crafting mats and selling those and the flagship encryptions on the GTN. If you're playing solo without a conquest guild, you can still easily earn that much over the course of two weeks on four characters each week. That's an easy 100 million credits without having to be skilled in any way at the game. The next one is often surprising to players. The number two most efficient way to earn credits is actually operations. If you like running group content, story mode operations are now incredibly valuable to run as each boss drops a pile of tech fragments Running through an entire story mode operation will get you about 2,000 tech fragments. 
and most groups can complete a story mode operation in under an hour. So if you can find a group and run two operations, you'll have enough tech fragments to buy one of those rare materials and have earned about 100 million credits in only two hours. That's insane. Number three, Galactic Starfighter, PVP, and Flashpoints. Galactic Starfighter and PVP are both also great choices for earning credits, but to earn the big credits through them, there is a lot more variability in time compared to the other methods. If you like GSF, you can earn 850 tech fragments from the Galactic Starfighter weekly to run four matches, with wins counting double. If you got unlucky and lost every game, you'd need to run 20 matches before you could get the rare material worth 100 million credits. If you like normal PvP, you can earn 1,500 tech fragments from the PvP weekly to run 12 matches, with wins counting triple. Once again, if you got unlucky and lost every game, you'd need to run 36 matches before you could get the rare material. Don't worry, you'll win at least some of the time, right? If you like flashpoints instead, the weekly Searching for Allies quest to complete three random flashpoints via the group finder with no flashpoints filtered out gets you 300 tech fragments. And just running through the group finder in general gets you a pile of tech frags, especially as veteran flashpoint bosses drop around 60 each too. Number four, Heroics. A very easy way to earn credits solo is to do Heroics. Heroics are repeatable daily quests which are meant to be done in groups of two or more, but can often be completed solo by experienced players. Each heroic you run will get you 30 tech fragments. That means if you ran 134 heroics, you'd eventually have enough tech frags to buy one of the rare materials we've already talked about and sell it for 100 million credits on the GTN. Some heroics are faster than others and it can be even faster if you do them in stealth. I've got a really nice quick short heroics list that I've linked in the description below on the written version of this guide. If you're just looking for a fast way to earn some quick credits rather than over time, the dailies can also be really rewarding at level 80. If you run the planet CZ198's weekly and all its associated quests, in about 10 to 15 minutes, you can earn a cool 100,000 credits right away. Number five, the swoop event. The swoop event is a limited time racing event. While the event is running, it's by far the most lucrative event in the entire game. You can very easily earn 700,000 credits in 20 to 30 minutes on a high level character. Pick up the daily quests, pick up the weekly quests, and while running the races, complete the bonus time quests and bonus objective quests for a large pile of extra credits for each of the nine courses. You can then go and run the nine races again on a second and third character for another pile of credits for about 2 million credits per hour. While it's not as lucrative as some of those earlier methods, much like the dailies, it's an immediate source of credits. Number six, Jawa Junk. Jawa Junk is a special type of item currency that you can turn in for crafting materials. It's harder to come across in the current expansion, but if you happen to have some, you can convert it to materials which you can sell to other players for credits. To spend your Jawa Junk, go to the Cartel Bazaar, which is in the northern elevator of the Republic Fleet, and the southern elevator on the Imperial Fleet, and look for the Jawa Vendors, where you can spend your green, blue, and purple Jawa Junk on crafting materials. If you're looking to make credits, you'd then sell those crafting materials on the GTN for some easy extra money. What exact items you should buy for the best profit will depend on the current market. For purple items, I definitely look into the Solid Resource Matrix or the Spiced Eric Tongue and Armor Maintenance items. For the green and blue items, look for the items that only cost one Jawa scrap. I've even got a spreadsheet up about this if you want to track prices linked in the description of this video. Number 7. Gathering Materials If you have slicing, scavenging, archaeology, or bioanalysis as a crew skill, you can gather materials in the world to sell to other players who will use them for crafting. While you're running around gathering mats, don't forget, you can also send your companions out on missions to gather materials too. One important thing to know is when you earn materials, they don't go directly into your inventory. Instead, they go into your materials bay, which you can access from a tiny symbol of a diamond on your inventory tab. To get items out of the Legacy Wide materials bay, just right click them and they'll go into your inventory. If you need more info about how to actually sell these materials and what to sell them for, take a look at the written version of this guide linked in the description. Number 8. Playing the GTN Between heroics, conquests, gathering, operations, all that stuff, there are some pretty solid ways to earn credits. However, players who are billionaires most often do something known as playing the GTN. This is when players carefully watch the GTN, the player-run market, 
and buy and sell items based on what they've seen, instead of earning credits directly through quests or items in the game. A simple example playing the GTN might include watching for players posting items at low prices, buying them, and reselling them at the normal price for a quick profit. These type of credit making tactics require two things, knowledge of the average prices of items and the patience to make credits over time. Items that players flip are usually cartel pack items, including armors, weapons, mounts, emotes, color crystals and decorations, and also companion gifts and crafting materials. Players usually pick one or two areas of expertise and focus on them so they can get familiar with the prices and the market. One easy way to start flipping items is by noticing when players accidentally sell their item for the default price set by the GTN instead of a custom price. For example, you may see a companion gift being sold for like 8,000 credits when the next highest one is being sold for 100,000 credits. Buy this gift from the GTN, get it from your mailbox, and then resell it at the higher price for easy profit. I was laughing really hard when I was actually researching and recording for this video. I was just testing out this concept and I was able to find a 200,000 credit item for 5,000 credits, which I then bought and resold. With the 7.0 expansion, inflation is so incredibly high and the GTN is the main way players are making credits in the billions. Heck, some of them are even having to sell things through trade chat and general chat because <laughs> they can't even sell on the GTN anymore because the credits are too high. But this method of playing the GTN is fairly out of reach for new players, which is why it's so far down this how to make credits list. Number nine, crafting. Due to the fact that you can't really craft level 80 gear at all at the moment, um, crafting is fairly far down the list this expansion, but you still have credits to be made here. Players often combine playing the GTN with high level crafting. The most common items to be crafted seem to be augment kits, augments, and stims rather than gear. Knowing what to craft can be very tricky. Augments are often considered by many players to be an easy path to credits, but if you do the math, sometimes outright selling the materials used to craft the augments is more profitable than actually putting them together and selling the completed augments. You really need to check and do the math. Not to mention, if you don't already have the schematics and the level 700 crafting skill, it can be very expensive to get to the point that you can actually craft those augments. You can, however, also find yourself a niche within low-level crafting and charging exorbitant prices to players who have lots of credits to gear up their low-level characters. Other crafting niches include cosmetic armor, dyes, crystals, weapons, and decorations. You can also half-craft, craft the bonded attachments and components and sell those without crafting them into finished products. Whether you can take advantage of these niches depends on the supply and demand of your server, which you can find out by watching the GTN over time for both pricing of the finished item, pricing of the materials to craft it, and general availability. If you want in on the crafting game, but figuring out what to craft seems like too much hassle, you can instead gather materials and sell them to players who are crafting. And finally, number 10, cartel coins. Subscribers get 500 cartel coins per month, and everyone can get 100 cartel coins per month for free if they use the security key on their phone. On top of that, when Galactic Seasons is running, players can earn a whole bunch of cartel coins just by working their way up the track. Especially if you're a subscriber, getting that 500 automatically per month, you might want to convert these cartel coins to credits. To do so, you buy an item from the cartel market for cartel coins, Wait for the timer to wear off in your inventory, then put the item up for sale on the GTN. The hard part is picking what item to get. You got two options, buying and selling a tried and true cartel item, or taking a gamble on something less proven. The first option is very easy. Good items to resell include the Master's Datacron, the Commander's Token, Hypercrease, and Black Black Dies. Just make sure to check the GTN for the credit value of the item before buying. To find out what item will get you the best value, look up its lowest price on the GTN, then divide that big credit number by the number of cartel coins it costs. So for example, if an item can be sold for 2 million credits on the GTN and costs 1,000 cartel coins, you get 2,000 credits per cartel coin spent. The item with the highest credits to cartel coin ratio will likely give you the most profit. Just keep in mind, prices on the GTN fluctuate, and it may be harder to sell some items than others. But in the end, if you want some really solid credits without any thought, 
The item I really like to buy and sell is the Master's Datacron. The second option requires a little more thought. Other items, like armors, weapons, decorations, might be worth more, but their price fluctuates more and you may have a harder time selling them in the first place. One thing to look for is the Cartel Market Sale of the Day, which shows up as a 50% off sale on the front page of the Cartel Market. Some of these deals are kind of garbage, while others might be on scarce supply on the GTN. Especially if they haven't showed up on the Cartel Market for a while, you'll have to decide if you want to take the risk for a bigger profit or instead buy and sell those trusted items that I was talking about earlier, like the Master's Datacron, Hypercrates, or Black Black Dyes. Do keep in mind, if you happen to buy an item like a Hypercrate, or depending on the day a Master's Datacron, if it sells for more than a billion credits on the GTN, then players stop selling it on the GTN and instead have to manually list it on the trade chat and the general chat, and it gets a lot harder to sell. I hope you enjoyed this overview about how to make credits in the current Star Wars The Old Republic economy with its crazy inflation and how you can take advantage of it. Remember the quick steps? Get tech frags, use them to buy OEMs and RPM crafting materials, and sell those for big cash money. If you enjoy these super in-depth research guides about Star Wars The Old Republic, please visit sotarisa.com support. And if you want more videos like this with tips and tricks about your favorite game, subscribe to this channel. As always, may the force and the credits be with you.